Hello, welcome back to Web and X Files. My name is Keith, and today is another short story. Today's short story tells us of a house that was used for sacrificing either animals or humane. This story is something I found that was reported um, through someone who was documenting their cases sometime in the 90s. And it says that the area that they grew up in was in Delaware. And where they lived, there was various urban legends. And a lot of these urban legends were just rumors and things like that. So the general teenage superstition and fun things to do was to go to explore in these abandoned places and when this person was in school there was one story about this specific uh, mansion that sort of put fear into the kids and not only the kids it was also where the parents had warned them to stay away through obviously the things that they knew from when they grew up of how horrible this place is. And the house was known as the Cult House. And I don't know where I could find this rumor had started from, but it, um, it involved one of the people who's documented this. It was one of their friend's parents who had a vast interest in this and he would share the story uh, to pretty much anyone who wanted to listen and he said that according to local legend that the mansion house is supposedly owned by devil worshippers and people involved in satanic cults there are various versions of the cult as such that is um, associated with a specific high-powered family um, from Delaware and it says that this family was involved in the chemical industry and that a lot of their finances were gained through making deals with the devil type of thing and that's how they got their success according to these facts whether the facts or whether they're just words I'm using to describe it um, and it says that um, the the window panes in the house have the shape of inverted crosses and the trees that line the road that run alongside the house in certain areas provide um, like a source of light and shy, hides the house away from the everyday viewer so when you drive past it's not something you notice unless you were looking for that specifically and it's it also says that um the interesting part is that there is a guard house that are on the grounds of the property and there are often red trucks that were seen backwards and forth coming from the house with these uh, red trucks and if you was to drive past this house frequently that stood out it would cause these people in the red trucks and the guard house to sort of follow you to see what you're up to and they would try and chase you away but no one was ever able to identify any of the people who were in these trucks and in the guardhouse but there is a in in the grounds there is a particular tree along the road that runs past the house and it has um the perfect shape of what looks like a human skull from the roots that had been um unearthed in there is my uh, little friend as you can see him there he's come to join me hey eh? so that's kobe <laughs> yes yeah um so anyway where was i up to and it said that um 
years ago, the police found the remains of a sacrificial victim that had been nestled inside this specific tree. And there were various reports of whether this victim was said to be a human or animal remains. And it said that according to legend, a human sacrifice has been performed on the grounds every Halloween. And, well, that's the rumor that circulates, but how sure these rumors are, I do not know, because I don't live anywhere near it, thankfully. And um, this, this guy's personal experience with the cult house is that when he's occasionally drove past the house um, with friends and researching the history of the property over several years, um, the window panes are actually in the shape of inverted crosses, which is pretty creepy as it is. And it seems to be not necessarily intentional, but that's the appearance that it's given. And it may just be that these particular panes are shaped that way. Is it a coincidence? Who knows? And it also says that the trees grow at an extreme angle away from the house. And in some places they seem to grow towards the main light source. So when I mentioned earlier about this light source and how it is, it's Kobe. Kobe, who's that? It's you. Um, it, it would make sense the way those trees are uh, planted so that when the light um, is, is given, it feeds the trees and the things to grow in a certain way and they follow the light, which in turn makes a shade or a hidden area for the house, if that makes sense. And it also says that um, the ph phenomenon seems to stop once you get a quarter of a mile or so past the actual house. And as we said about the guard house and these red trucks, uh, on this particular occasion, they actually followed the, the guy who's told this story uh, that he's documented his experience. They've actually followed him multiple times as he's drove past. And it says on the first time that they've done um, a drive-by was one of these red trucks turned pursuit into uh, the guy we are called James and they followed James but the strange thing is they did not have their lights on which is pretty alarming because with it being in a sort of secluded area the light source on the roads was not particularly well lit so it made it very dangerous and very strange that a person driving a car would not have their lights on. And that was the first um, experience of this red truck driver. And it, he says he has no idea how this driver was able to stay on track on the road, as I mentioned before, with it being um very poorly lit so it says that they never saw the driver's face or anything like that and it says they were followed for several miles until they actually made it away from the house and that the um every time these lights have been off but they never ever witness anybody who is seen either entering or leaving the main house. It's only the guard house that contains people who are active. And it says that um, the, he knows that the trucks are housed at the guard house because at least five are usually parked in the driveway and that's five at any one time. And it says that the skull tree actually looks quite frighteningly like a human skull. 
but there have never been any newspaper reports or any accounts that have confirmed the remains that were found at this property. And it says that there are no evidence of any sacrificial rites that had been performed at Halloween or on other times according to local records. But this does not say that it is a fact because you often find when there is influential people, people with money, powerful people who own chemical plants, like Mr. Burns from The Simpsons, money talks, money can make things disappear, go away, not be reported. So I wouldn't be surprised if the newspaper publishers could possibly be involved with the family too. And it says that there are other unexplained things about the house. It says, first of all, the road that runs past the house is not located on any map that he's seen. And this was before the internet, so it was all paper map recorded things, so the A to Z, but the American version, uh, Canadian version. On this road, it also has no visible street signs that would give this road's name. And although they believe that it is actually a public road because of... Um, other things that would make it like that but there's no uh, signs that would give the name of the road so um it says the country records or the council the county records office can produce no title for the house in the area that matched the description and a local newspaper wanted to run a halloween feature on the legends that would hopefully bring out some of the facts and would cut down on some of the traffic that would be has been caused by people who have been fascinated by this strange house um, and the city desk editor of the paper who was a friend of the guy who's documented his um, story said that the paper had obtained a phone number for the house somehow and called to arrange an interview and they explained that they wanted to debunk the legend once and for all and she said that they were very rudely refused by a person who would not give their name. The paper uh, staff was surprised because they had assumed that the owners would want to stop the rumors. And lastly, he says that he'd like to give a few of his own impressions of the place. This is his words, he said, I'm not prepared to say that everything said about the house is true. I can only rely on my own observations. The place definitely has an oppressive air about it. I know one girl who believed she was in danger of becoming possessed after being near the house. She did the spirit, no sorry, she said that the spirit she felt was a female victim of some sort through the rite of ritual that had been performed upon the grounds. She claimed of no previous knowledge of the legends that surrounded this specific house. Now, often he says he thought that he's seen people moving through the trees that are near the house. And when he takes another look, these people have gone. Um, says that his friends have all seen animals in the woods and on the road that are unable to be identified. That may have nothing to do with the house, but it certainly adds to the mystery that surrounds this specific house. I don't know how to properly explain it, but once you've turned onto Colt House Road, which it's now being given the name, you feel as if you've entered some other dimension. Nothing feels normal. You feel as though you've entered something still. And this could all be down through the rumors and the power of suggestion. Personally, I think there is something going on in the house. I'm just not sure what it is. Now, that is where his account of the house and his investigations and all the things he wanted to sort of like um, vloggers story as such ends it's got it, it, the guy has literally disappeared so for the last what 20 odd years there's been no more reports from
from this person who was investigating, um, unofficially investigating the area around the house, which is very strange. I think that in days where we have the internet today, things are a little more harder to make people shush because it only takes one video to get out there that goes viral and can give off uh, so much information and start another conspiracy theory but this person and their um, vlogs have vanished so I do not know what to make of this story but if there's anyone out there who knows what I'm talking about and there's from Delaware that they have heard of the cult house that is very strange please do get in touch I'd be interested to hear what you've got to say I hope you enjoyed today's story. Take care, have a Merry Christmas, and see you all. <laughs>